do we just hang it out for Netflix and chill? More like Netflix and kill. It's me, Chloe, and welcome to Tuna This Weekend Summer Challenge 2020. So today we are talking about is week one creepy and cute. So let's get things started. Number one, Lily Loud with Orange Yoshi. This surprisingly came out much better than I accepted. I'm really on the verge of adopting this art style if I continue to get the hang of it and improve of my skills. According to my client, the main reason why this Yoshi's orange is to represent Lincoln in a way, since he's her older brother. Lisa, did you turn Lincoln into a Yoshi? Who you gonna call this Halloween? Happy Halloween! How hard would it be for the Ghostbusters if they had to bust some familiar ghosts? I try to fit as many as possible for the crossover. If I forgot a ghost, I'm sorry, lol. Denny and Casper? Yay! But you forgot the ghostly trio, Danielle Phantom, and Beetlejuice. Slendy needs coffee. No idea how he drinks it, but apparently he still wants it. Aw, oh, little cute slender, it's so chubby and precious, holding his cup of coffee. Very adorable joy. I need it too. Life got all busy when I came back home for the holidays. That extra boost of energy is always welcomed. Though Dame Zombie, the first of this small collection I planned. If you have suggestions, let me know. Cute and creepy are always fun. Thanks so much. Toys. Broken Doll Sadness. Okay, this is more creeper than I thought. Eek! This is a second drawing of my section of toys. And I don't know why a doll sadness as a scary, paranormal, creepy doll from the topical haunted room from the dead little girl. Care Bear's Joy Bear. Here I draw Joy from inside out as a Care Bear. Glowwood Tangle. I can't wait to see what Galenian Rabbit Dash looks like. I think it's in my favorite regional form so far, and I'm so happy they went on the unicorn route with it. I want one. Definitely one of my favorite designs. I am always happy with new equine or canine-like Pokemon fans, but this one is especially adorable. I'm probably going to name it Celestia because why not? Unikitty Ricktober Day 9. Here is a 9 picture of Ricktober from October 2018. Richard, in a reference to the main Atonicus for the Saw franchise, Jigsaw, tells Dr. Fox on the computer that he wants to play a game. Hello, Doc. Do you want to play a game with me? Nice try, Rick, but I'm a busy scientist and I don't do games. Unikitty times it. We all float down here. You float too? Okay guys, I wanted to do this as a parody revelation of the film It by Stephen King, specifically the 2017 version. Puppycorn is taken on the role of Georgie Dunbrung, the deceased little brother of Bill Dunbrung, who was attacked in by the evil Pennywise while Puppycorn is holding a red balloon. I really thought Puppycorn being a raincoat in Unikitty knew someone reminded me of the It film a bit, so uh, I did this. No, I can hear Pennywise's voice whispering in my head. Do you want a balloon, Puppycorn? And finally, Pinkie Pie versus Unikitty. I would say that was really difficult for me to make sense. These characters are similar, and one of them is voiced by Tara Strong, my all-time favorite voice actress. But I'm going to try to be unbiased as you can. Their personality is similar, trying to make everybody happy. Pinkie Pie is, has a good design with her pinks, and her uni marks use it perfectly as little Unikitty eye. On the cute when the shades of pink, her little horns represent her name, and having red blushing cheeks. I had to go give it to the Pinkie cause Pinkie have gone through a long way. As for Unikitty, she's still a development. They are both enjoyable and very fun funny. By a cotton candy hair, Pinkie Pie is the winner. Now time for the bonus artworks on Mixopolis channel, Monday Monica meets a cute kitty. Oh, what an odd looking kitty. Meow. And finally, Cleo Rita meets a creepy clown.
looks like there is no need to run in fright because there are some strange things that happen in restaurants in the night. But when the daylight comes, we we'll always go right back. No, may I please have a happy meal for a little snack? You want a little snack? It's a deal. Here you go. Enjoy your happy meal. And we'll always play together every night until I'll be sleeping in the daylight. Well, there you have it. It's week one, creepy and cute. But tune in next week. We're headed for Fruitful Heroes. See you there.